Welcome back. Problem 6-192 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is a wooden beam has a square cross section as shown. Determine which orientation of the beam provides the greatest strength at resisting the moment M. What is the difference in resulting maximum stress in both cases? So you can see this is the square cross section having length a by a and this is also a square cross section a by a but the orientation here is this and the orientation here is like this and they are both applied by same moment m and m so you have to determine the orientation which provide greater strength and you then you have to find the difference in resulting maximum stress in both cases so let's start with the solution so for case a or case A, we know that maximum bending stress is equal to moment into C divided by I. So you can see here, this is moment M applied. So due to this moment, it will uh, bend like this, clear. So this lower portion will be in tension and upper portion will be in compression. And this is the horizontal axis because this horizontal about horizontal axis is this will be a by 2 and this will be also a by 2 so it will be symmetrical a by 2 so here the maximum stress will be here and this distance c will be equal to a by 2 so maximum stress is equal to m into c divided by i so c is equal to a divided by 2 if you take this horizontal axis so c is the maximum distance from neutral axis till outer surface so this is c and this is equal to a by 2 what is the moment of inertia for this square so it will be equal to 1 over 12 b is a breadth is a and height is also a so 1 over 12 b h q so a q so i is equal to 1 over 12 a power 4 the moment of inertia formula for square is equal to for square section is 1 over 12 b multiplied by h q so b here is a and h is also equal to a so this is the moment of inertia so put all these values in this formula so maximum bending stress for case A is equal to moment, C is equal to A divided by 2 and I is 1 over 12, A power 4. So when you calculate it, you will get maximum bending stress comes out to be 6M divided by A power 3. So this is the maximum bending stress for case A. Now we'll move toward case B. So for case B, for case B, we have same formula maximum bending stress is equal to moment into C divided by I. Now you can see if I draw horizontal line clear, so it will form two triangles. I take horizontal line from here, it will be two triangles clear so this side is a this is also a clear so this distance by using Pythagoras theorem that this is point a and this is point b so a b will using a Pythagoras theorem a b square is equal to a square plus a square which is equal to 2 a square so a b will be equal to under root 2a square which will give you under root 2 times a and this ab will be equal to 1.41 1.41 times a clear if i draw a vertical line from this top this line and this is point o so and this is point c so CO is perpendicular. So CO will be equal to again. You can see this is also same over AB. 
so it will be equal to a b this distance will be equal to c o will be equal to a b divided by 2 so c o is equal to a b divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.707 times a clear now c o we hear from here c is the maximum distance from neutral axis till the topmost or bottom most this is equal to c this is also equal to c so bending stress will be maximum over this because this point is in tension so c is equal to 0 0.707 times a now moment of inertia i for this rectangular portion since there are two rectangle so the moment of inertia is 1 over 36 bh cube and this area uh, by using parallel axis theorem its centroid will be away from this neutral axis clear so we will write ad square so i will write 2 multiply by 1 over 36 bh cube plus ad square clear so what is b for here so b is this ab B is equal to this AB, which is equal to 1.41 times A. What is height? Height is equal to CO and that is equal to 0 0.707 times A. Clear? And what is area? So area will be equal to for this triangle is equal to 1 over 2 breadth into height. So 1 over 2, not 1 over 12. So this is 1 over 2 B into H. So B is 1.41 times A and H is 0 0.707 times A. And D is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section, uh, till the centroidal of this section. And for this triangle, its centroid will be equal to 1 over 3 1 over 3 of co co is this distance so 1 over 3 its c will be i will choose another color its c will be this one and this distance is equal to this distance is equal to 1 over 3 times co so 1 over 3 times uh, 0.707 times a now you have all the values this d this is equal to d so d is equal to 1 over 3 times co and that is 1 over 3 times 0 0.707 a now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula clear so you will get i so i will write i is equal to 2 times why two times because we have two triangle one is this one and other one is this one so two times one over 36 clear b breadth uh, base is this one a b which is 1.41 times a and height is c o which is 0 0.707 a power 3 plus one over two which is the a plus a a is equal to 1 over 2 this is a we have calculated 1 over 2 into 1.41 a into height is 0 0.707 times a into d square so d is 1 over 3 into 0 0.707 a square whole square so when you calculate this i so this i will be equal to 0 0.0833 a power 4 now you have c you have i so you can put it in this formula so you will get maximum bending stress will be equal to m into c divided by i so m c is 0 0.707 times a divided by i is 0 0.08 3 3a power 4 so when you calculate it you will get the maximum bending stress comes out to be 
ए पावर सॉरी एट पॉइंट फोर एट फाइव थ्री टाइम्स एम डिवाइड बाय ए क्यूब सो दिस इज द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस फॉर केस बी नाउ यू कैन सी यू हैव दिस इज फॉर केस ए एंड दिस इज सिक्स एम and this is for case b so for applying the same moment over this two different orientation this gives 6m bending stress comes out to be 6m over a cube while this give you bending stress is 8.4853m over a cube since uh, this value is smallest stress so it means that the same moment is producing smallest strength as compared to here clear so the safest or highest strength will be the case a clear so i will write it over here so case a case a provides higher strength higher strength since the resulting maximum stress is less for less for a given moment and a clear you have seen that both have same m and both have same m a so this is giving you the maximum bending stress here is less than maximum bending stress over here clear so it means that this is producing uh, a, a maximum strength to or it is resisting uh this moment greatly okay now we'll move towards second part what is the difference in their stress bending stress so difference in their maximum bending stress is this one is higher so 8.4853m over a cube minus the second one is 6m over a cube so you will get this maximum difference maximum bending stress comes out to be 2.49 m by a q which is the answer of our this question i hope you have enjoyed this video and that was all about this problem 6-192 um if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and do subscribe my channel if you are new to it Thank you for watching and supporting me.